the number one skill that a parent needs to pass on to their child. From the last, let's call it eight years of early childhood development, and I've obsessed, I've interviewed the world's top experts when it comes to parenting. Do you know the number one thing that I've realized that every child needs in order to be healthy and successful? You know what they need to learn from their parents? They need to learn the skill of emotional regulation. I've done a lot of research as someone who has had a vast experience with addiction and who has worked with addicts and been an addict myself. I'm very conscious of how triggering what I'm about to say can be, but one of the things that's been identified in addiction therapy is children that haven't learned how to regulate trauma responses are significantly more likely to develop ADHD and addictive tendencies. Because when a child doesn't learn how to regulate emotions, and where do you think children learn how to regulate emotions from? Their parents. And so if a parent can't demonstrate to a child how to regulate emotions, children don't learn how to regulate emotions. And if the children don't learn how to regulate emotions, their brains look for ways to stabilize, often pumping blood in different directions and developing certain parts of the brain that can create biochemical deficiencies that when are met with substance, make them feel normal. Now, when most kids have a meltdown, what will their parents do? They yell at them. And when a child is going into meltdown, okay, and it could be simply over the fact that they and dropped an ice cream or you know they didn't get their way but to a child when the brain goes into meltdown the brain goes into what's called a trauma response they, they flip their lid so they literally lose connection between their frontal lobes okay and the rest of the brain they can't think properly okay and no matter how much you try and negotiate with them they can't can think it's like trying to negotiate with someone who has no brain who would agree with that when your child is in meltdown you just can't talk to them you could promise them all the ice cream in the world but they're not going to calm down the way most parents, when a child has a trauma response, it literally is a response to them where they go, ego developing, I don't feel safe. And just something as simple as saying no to a child has the ability to trigger them to feel unsafe. And this is important for you to understand. It's not about building hardened kids. It's about building hardy kids. And hardy kids are ones that know how to regulate. You don't build resilience in a child through creating independence at an, dis, at an age, disappropriate age. You create resilience in a child by creating and giving them high levels of codependence so that they feel incredibly safe to be adventurous and try things on their own. So when a child goes into a, let's call it a trauma response, they feel unsafe, parent yells at them. What does the parent literally demonstrate to the child? You're not safe. I don't feel safe. You're damn right you're not safe. Go to your fucking room. For those of you who have seen Noah, he is the most hardy, resilient little guy because when he goes into meltdown, and he can go into meltdown for the craziest of reasons, I don't yell at him, I don't scream at him, I hold him. And when I hold him, I breathe. I demonstrate to him when he's in meltdown how to regulate. So rather than me compounding the fact that he doesn't feel safe, I show him through my own behaviors how to regulate. And so when we learn how to regulate, we learn how to breathe. And breath is one of the fastest way to regulate the emotional system. We learn how to regulate our emotions. We learn how to calm down. We learn how to develop resilience. And as such, we become resilient.